In this video, we're going to learn a technique that allows you to edit multiple angles, also known as multicam, in a very quick and easy way. If you nail the multicam recording, the editing will be mind-blowingly easy. So before we get into the editing, let's quickly touch on how to set up our cameras. I know, I know, you're here because you want to learn how to edit it, not how to film it, but please stick around because it will help you understand if you run into any issues while you're editing your multicam sequence. First, set up all of your cameras and make sure, this is of vital importance, make sure that you're recording audio with each device. Now, it doesn't really matter if the quality is Honestly, it can just be the onboard microphone of a camera. All that matters is that you're recording audio because this will help you sync everything up in post. Obviously, we do want at least one high quality audio recording that we can use for our final video, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Now to start recording, we can do the very obvious thing and that is just press record on each camera. But if you're a one person production, this can be quite stressful. There is an easier way to film multiple angles with whatever gear that you have available. It doesn't even require fancy cameras like this one. So for this video, what I did is I hooked up my cameras as well as my iPhone to an app that my friends created and it's called Detail. Detail is currently free, so I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out. It is available for macOS and it is an easy way to film multicam because it allows you to link up, for example, your iPhone or your iPad using their iOS app. This makes it very beginner friendly because you do not need any prior knowledge on the production side of things and you also don't need fancy gear because you can just use your iPhone. Now, what I did is I set up my iPhone using their iOS app and then I also hooked up the cameras with capture cards. I just plugged them in and they automatically showed up in the detail app and then all there's left to do is to create new scenes and dedicate each scene to a camera angle. The great thing about this is is that you only have to press record once in detail instead of going to all your cameras and pressing record on each and every camera. After recording you can choose to edit this inside the detail app because it has some functionalities to do that or you can just import all of the streams into Premiere Pro which is what we are doing for this video. Video. Again, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out detail. I honestly recommend it because it's free, so why wouldn't you? All right, now that we filmed everything, let's talk about how to edit this multicam video. In Premiere Pro, there is actually an option to create a multicam sequence, and this is where the magic is at. But before we do that, unless the order of the camera angles doesn't matter to you, we want to relabel our clips. As you can see, I renamed the clips camera one, two, and three. Let's select all of the clips, right click, and then click on create multi-camera source sequence. That should open up this window. Now firstly, if you want to, you can give the multicam sequence a name right here. Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that it's really important that all of your cameras are recording audio and this is why. We're going to be syncing these clips up by audio. So down here, we're going to select the audio and then choose track one. Unless you're recording multiple high quality audio sources for all of your cameras, you want to make sure that this is not set to switch audio. In my case, because I filmed with detail, my high quality audio is attached to all of the clips. So in my case, it doesn't really matter, but let's assume that it is attached to camera one. So I'm going to select camera one for this example. As you know, we renamed the names of the clips so that they match the camera angle. So before we hit okay, we want to make sure that we have selected use clip names. This will make sure that the clips are in the right order. As you can see, our project bin has changed. We now have a folder that says process clips and a new multicam sequence. So next we'll have to right click on that multicam sequence sequence and then click on new sequence from clip. This is the sequence that we're going to be editing. Now here's our video and audio. If you're familiar with nested clips, you'll notice that it looks the same and that is because in essence, it sort of is. Inside this video track, we have all of the video tracks of the multiple angles that we recorded. Now in order to edit this, we need to open the multi-camera view by pressing on this button right here. Now if you don't see it in the toolbar just yet, then click on the plus button and then drag the button that says toggle multi-camera view onto the toolbar. You can also use the shortcut shift zero. Now we will see that our preview monitor has split into two. On the left side, we see all of the different camera angles. And on the right side, we see our final edit. If for whatever reason, the cameras aren't in the right order and you wish to change the order, then click on the wrench right here and then click on edit cameras. Then you can drag and drop the cameras to change the order. To edit this multicam recording, you can do two things. You can either play through the video and then click on any of the angles right here to switch between those angles, or you can simply press one, two, and three on your keyboard. One is designated to camera one, two to two, you get the point. And obviously if you're using more camera angles, this number increases. Essentially, all we need to do is just watch the video and hit one, two, or three whenever we want to switch to those respective angles. But here's the 
other thing, we will actually not see the cuts until we pause the video, so do not worry about that. Now, if you did forget to toggle on the multicam view, then you will not have made any cuts, which is why it is so important to make sure that you have this turned on. If you made a mistake and you want to switch to a different camera angle, then simply play through it again and then simply select that angle to overwrite the previous cut. To fine tune this edit, we can use something called the rolling edit tool. And all this tool does is basically change the end position of clip one and the start position of clip two. This might sound confusing, so let me just show you what I mean. To enable the rolling edit tool, we have to go down here to the toolbar and then click and hold the ripple edit tool and then we can click on rolling edit tool. And as you can see, there's also a shortcut for this and that is N. Now, if I take this cut and I move it forward, you can see that this clip is getting shorter and hence we're changing the end position of this clip. And as you can see, simultaneously, we're also changing the start position of clip two. The next step is to add some music or even sound design to your video to really help captivate your audience in your story. So let's learn how to do that by watching this video right here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video.